Good day, the happy satellite nerd here. Uh, today I'd like to talk about the CBC and uh, how it is on satellite, but it is encrypted. And uh, the Canadian taxpayers are paying for the CBC, but yet it is encrypted. So that's always a, uh, a problem I've always found with it. Now, CBC is on um, Bell Express View, and it is also on Shaw Direct. Now, considering that the, the Canadian taxpayers do pay for it, it should be one of those channels that's just left unencrypted. So, for example, if you have a Bell, uh, a Bell TV, use it formerly known as Bell Express View receiver, or a uh, Shaw Direct, formerly known as Star Choice receiver, you should be able to, um, even though you have no service, those channels you should be able to connect and get channels in the clear. Now there is sometimes with, for example, a Shaw Direct receiver, you'll still get the BC Legislator, the BC Legislation Channel, and you'll also get the um, Shopping Channel in the clear. But none of the CBC stuff is in the clear, even though we pay for it. So, um, yeah, I just, I just uh, that's just a concern. Now on CBAM, the CBC used to be uh, in the clear, and anyone could get the CBC. All they would have to do is. Uh, have a C-band satellite dish, but now it is encrypted, except for what a channel called Livestream, which runs a lot of the news, uh, news programming, and the uh, I think there's hockey games on it too that you can watch on C-band. But it's not a 24/7 CBC channel; it's just uh, a satellite feed that you can get on 107 West, the Canadian Unique Satellite. CTV is a owned by Bell is open and in the clear and high definition but CBC is not. Now this gets me to another problem that we've had with CBC is in this area we used to get it on over the air television. You could get you could receive CBC with an antenna uh, but many areas Sault Ste. Marie, um, Kingston, Ontario, um, Pembroke, Ontario uh, used to have transmitters that were analog but they never updated them to with cuts but now the CBC's budget has been increased so you would think now they could. Now in my area I can get CBC radio but there's no television broadcast on off of the, the area so I can get it on the radio but no TV on the tower. So my suggestion is use that tower and put a modern ATSC transmitter up there so that we can have digital TV uh, digital CBC in different areas uh, in Canada. Now if that's too expensive the next suggestion I would I would say is make CBC in the clear. So for example when it's carried on Bell when it's carried when it's carried on Bell TV satellite or when it's carried on Shaw Direct make all the CBC's in the clear. Now the reason why they do scramble on even on C-band is they claim it's a uh, region rights you know they have a program and it's for this region and I don't think the CBC should go that route where they have programs that are locked up so that no one can see them I think they should be more of a public being the public broadcaster that they are they should have more public programming that's free for everyone to have they even have commercials in it so this would increase their revenue for their advertising revenue to be free and then declare now if you live in an area like Toronto Montreal or Ottawa um, Vancouver no problem. There's a CBC's o o there over the air. It's not uh, in this area and many areas that used to get it. So my suggestion is considering can my suggestion. Obviously, I have a special interest in this is because I'm the happy satellite nerd. Um, I think it should be on free KU band. Uh, use a KU band transfer on an Anik one or two on 107 West and have it in the clear for everyone who would uh, that wants to receive it. A satellite receiver is not that expensive. It's more to get pe people access who are in the rural route areas that don't have high speed internet. Because I do know it's streamed online and that's a good thing. I mean it's accessible. A lot more people watch online than they actually do with cable or whatever. But if you live in an area where you don't have, uh, uh, you, maybe you can't put up an antenna um, but you're in an urban area, more likely your option will be streaming. But if you are li live in a way out in the country area, a rural area, you might want to be able to receive it with a satellite dish. There could be a solution. Now there was, I've talked about this in other videos before, is the local TV satellite solution from Shaw, where Shaw Direct 
uh, when they uh, merged with, they did merge and then they had, uh, and part of the agreement, with another media conglomerate, their part of their agreement was have the LTSS, local TV satellite solution program. It was a limited time offer, so it didn't really, a lot of people didn't even know about it. So a lot of people are like, well, I don't need cable anymore, but now I can't get, you know, hockey night in Canada, etc. So this is a way um, that I think that, that either they'd have to go back to that program where people can at least buy their own Shaw equipment, even let them reuse, recycle, get one from a thrift store, even a standard definition uh, re uh, receiver, which those things literally should be a dime a dozen. They're outdated. They're, they're a standard definition. Have one of those receivers and be able to uh, get uh, free CBC since they're paying for it and just pay for the equipment to receive it, which, which you do anyway when you have to buy your TV set and all that stuff, but have it free and accessible for people who can't afford cable. Yeah, my solution is have it on a free-to-air system and even the uplinks, I think, for the wide area of Canada actually is a better solution because we would use a lot less power because the satellite, uh, it just has to be up like to one satellite and then we could have multiple people down on uh, in Canada that can be able to receive it over a satellite that will, might not be able to receive it with over the air. And they might live in a, an area that's just more of a hilly area where over the air does not work as well. And that is a better technology. So that, that's why I'm saying it should be free in, on satellite. Uh, PBS has no problem being free on satellite. PBS, I can get PBS over the air from Watertown in my area, and I get four channels, which is another thing that I think the CBC should look at is having uh, sub-channels. So, for example, with PBS, you have the main PBS channel, which is a 1080p channel. Then you have Create. Then you have World, First Nation Experience, and uh uh, PBS Kids, which is a 24-7 children's channel. So I could see CBC going in that direction where they could have multiple channels on uh, over the air broadcast and on satellite, where they can have a, we need a PB, uh, we need a CBC Kids channel. We need a channel that has reruns of Mr. Dressup and Fred Penner's Place and The Friendly Giant. All those shows, <laughs> I'd like to see those, those shows back. Uh, and The Littlest Hobo, we need to see that. Great Canadian content. And uh, so there'd be more sub-channels on CBC. You don't need it to be a 1080 full high-definition channel. We could, put, we could fit some sub-channels in there. If you look at the Americans, they have lots of, uh, for example, uh, they'll have laugh, escape, bounce, um, and also um, this TV, movies. They'll have all sorts of sub-channels. Um, charge and, you know, there's a, there's a long list of sub-channels that they have in the States. So over the years in the States is definitely, like, if you live in the right area, you can get the same amount of channels that you can get with cable. So, or, or just as many with basic, you get more channels than basic cable <laughs> here in Canada. So share with me, because um, I'd like to see our public broadcaster do that serve the public and take the public's input and listen because I've noticed when you look at the comments on the CBC's Facebook page and on their Twitter comments uh, there's a lot of privatized the CBC talk uh, which you might not talk about on the air and there is that stigma about Canadian content Canadian content is not great there is some good Canadian stuff but I find sometimes we get force-fed a bunch of crap that we don't care about uh, and a lot of Canadians feel that way, and they're kind of angry at the CBC. And then whether your stance be, well, there's there's two big stances on the CBC that we, one is a group of people thinks that we should privatize the CBC, get rid of it, shouldn't be paid for by, by taxpayers, and get rid of it. And there's other people that they believe in the CBC and that in Canada we should have a public broadcaster, which I agree with. We should have one. It just shouldn't be the amount of money that we're paying for the CBC right now, we're paying uh, close to over a billion dollars of taxpayers' money goes toward the CBC. So, and and the CEO is like, uh, look up what the CEO is making. It's like a crazy amount of money. I can be the CEO of CBC. I have some great ideas. If you want to give me the job, I mean, I got a great job now. But if you want to give me a job running the CBC uh, for for my people of Canada, I mean, definitely they would be Mr. Dress Up reruns. They would be a CBC wrestling ch show on CBC. The lead into Hockey Night in Canada would be like the Canadian Championship Wrestling. <laughs> yes, they would be wrestling on the CBC for a change. 
um, they be, you know, I'd keep Hockey Night in Canada. Any, those popular shows, we'd keep all them. The, the shows that Canadians really want to watch, we'd definitely keep those. Um, but maybe not so much of the shows that Canadians don't want to watch. And you can name those shows in the comments what you don't want to watch. <laughs> I'd like to hear your comments on that. So if you have any better ideas, um, please let me know in the comments. Please share. If you do have an opinion, you're wel your opinion is welcome here. I mean, if you, if you feel that CBC should be privatized, or you think it should be um, uh, pu uh, more of a uh, public system, I think it should be run like, C uh, like PBS. Like we look at, I, look, I look at PBS to the south of us, and I think they have um, their donation fund. They have funding drives to keep them going, and they get people who want it, pay for it. And they get, uh, for the programming, they have people make uh, donations to that. I mean, I, I think that works well. I think PBS is very well produced programming. Um, I'd like to see it continue. Another thing we don't get in this area is TV Ontario. We don't get any TV Ontario. Uh, only on a clear day I can get TV Ontario. I can with my LTSS, but not anyone can just get it, put an aerial up and get TV Ontario. So part of my solution uh, for the CBC would be, if you do go over the air, have TV Ontario and the French version of TV Ontario, the, the TFO, and have French CBC put all those channels on carriers so you don't have to have multiple towers. You can have CBC and CBC French on sub channels, saves on power, saves the taxpayers some money, uh, and uh, and you have those sub channels. But definitely have a kids 24 kids channel like Kids PBS. Let's have Kids CBC 24 7 with Mr. Dress Up reruns and Fred Penner and the Friendly Giant. Even if it's on like at 5 a.m. in the morning, I don't care, I'll PVR it. I want those shows. Those are the shows I want. Okay, yeah, I'm dating, I'm sh showing my age here a little bit. Anyway, thank, um, so please like, share, and subscribe, and let me know in the comments uh, what you think. Uh, should the CBC be privatized, or should it be, or should it be, uh, continue to be being public? And should they get more funding, or should they get less funding? Let me know.